It's the hottest thing in the world of transportation since the commercialization of the jet could cut down the time it takes to travel from New York to Los Angeles from hours to minutes and promises to be entirely zero emission. But have you ever wondered what it's like inside a Hyperloop capsule? Wonder no more, because we're about to find out. Hi there, I'm Nikki Gordon Bloomfield from Transport Evolved, and today, in addition to trying out a new way of filming these things, we're delving deep into the world of superfast Hyperloop travel and asking what it will be like to travel inside a Hyperloop capsule as it zips at unbelievable speed across its specially constructed track. For those who don't know, the Hyperloop is a form of travel made famous by serial entrepreneur, CEO of both SpaceX and Tesla, and real-life Iron Man Elon Musk, who penned a white paper back in 2013 laying out his vision for a brand new transportation system in which people would travel inside sealed capsules about the size of a large minivan or minibus placed inside a large tube, depressurized to a fraction of the Earth's normal air pressure. The lower pressure, he detailed, can combined with the use of powerful electromagnetics to provide both levitation and motive power, would result in a low-friction, super-efficient transport system that would slash transport times, needed only clean renewable electricity to operate, and could help shift society's reliance away from those noisy, polluting airplanes. While we should note that Hyperloop-like ideas existed long before Musk penned the term Hyperloop, but Musk's paper really inspired a whole load of academics, engineers, business people, and investors to try and become the very first to build a working, real-life Hyperloop. Indeed, in just four years, we've seen massive investments, we're talking hundreds of millions here, made in both Hyperloop One and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, that's HTT for short, as well as several high-profile competitions designed to get university and high school students building and designing for various components for the transportation system of the future. So far, Hyperloop One's own track, a Hyperloop test track, already under construction just outside Las Vegas, Nevada, not to mention agreements with cities around the world to undertake feasibility studies into building Hyperloop systems to join up cities that currently take hours to travel between by car, plane, or rail. And as part of that, we've seen some pretty neat visualizations from Hyperloop One about what it might be like to travel by Hyperloop. This video, completely computer-generated of course, details what it might be like to catch a Hyperloop from Abu Dhabi to Dubai, the first two cities which Hyperloop One will join together using its high-tech network. This particular example shows how users will not only be able to book their trip in advance, but catch a number of different types of Hyperloop pods, depending on what they'd like to do in transit, right from their local office or transportation hub, all the way to their destination. In this example, the pods, which fit inside a larger Hyperloop capsule, can travel autonomously between the end of the Hyperloop track and the user's chosen destination, operating alongside other vehicles on surface streets. It's personalized, customizable, easy to use, and requires no advanced booking unless you want to. It's also likely rather expensive for those who want to choose the more personalized pods to travel than a higher capacity system. Which brings us to the other example from Hyperloop One's rival, HTT. HTT has just released this video and photographs of what it says is the world's first full-scale passenger Hyperloop capsule, measuring 100 feet in length and 8.85 feet in diameter. That's about 30 meters long and about 2.4 meters diameter wide. This mock-up is larger than Hyperloop One's pods within a pod, but could carry between 28 and 40 passengers every trip. We'll get to see the finished Hyperloop capsule from them in early 2018 at a grand reveal at HTT's Research and Development Center in Toulouse, France. But in the meantime, HTT says its high-technology pod weighs 80 metric tons and can travel at speeds of up to 760 miles per hour, that's 1,223 kilometers per hour, thanks to the passive magnetic levitation technology it signed an exclusive agreement with the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory to use. Right now, of course, we should note here that both Hyperloop One and HTT's envisaged system face some tough challenges before they're ready for market, including mass production challenges, financial challenges, and of course, overcoming all of those technical and safety barriers before gaining regulatory approval to zip you across continents inside a low-pressure tube. 
Of the two, I think I'd prefer Hyperloop One's vision, as it seems a little more in tune with where we're going in relation to on-demand transportation. But obviously, I'd love to give either a trial if I could sit silently and efficiently from one part of the country to the other without worrying about going through airport security, dealing with the habitual chair kicker behind me, or worrying about baggage claim. What about you? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to support us on Patreon. There's a link at the end of the video and in the description below, as well as like, comment and subscribe. And of course, be sure to come back tomorrow for more Transport Evolved awesomeness. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep evolving.